and welcome back to the channel and I recently watched Alien Romulus. Alien Romulus was directed by Fede Alvarez and produced by both him and Ridley Scott. The film follows a group of young space colonists who while scavenging the deep ends of a direct space station come face to face with the most terrifying life form in the universe, the Xenomorph. And also other tiny creepy crawlers as well, let's not forget that. <laughs> that is the most basic way for me to explain the plot of this movie without spoiling anything because Holy shit, a lot of shit happens in this film. I'm just gonna cut this shit right here and I need to say right now that this film is fucking amazing. I absolutely fucking loved Alien Romulus. Everything about it. I was just, oh, it was good thing after good thing after more good stuff. I don't have enough words to describe just how fucking amazing this shit was. This was, this was a fucking cinematic experience that yes, if you're gonna watch this movie, go watch it in theaters. Don't wait for it on streaming, don't wait for it to come out on renting on any other platform, just please for the love of god, fucking go watch this in theaters. And Fede Alvarez, I need to really fucking thank you so, so much for this. It feels so good to be a Predator and Alien fan today, with both Prey and now this? Now where's the fucking new Alien vs Predator movie? Both fucking Dan Trachtenberg and Fede Alvarez need to come together and be like, yo, what are we gonna do about this? The performances, the score, the special effects, the ambience, the set design, the horror, the tension, the action, it's all fucking here, man. It is the complete alien package while also telling a really compelling and intriguing story as well. Let me tell y'all, there's been a few people complaining about, oh, it does a lot of callbacks to the other alien movies. Let me just say that these people are fucking over exaggerating. You know? A lot of these callbacks are so minute and so little that it's like, really, you're gonna fucking downplay this movie just because there's a couple of callbacks? Come on, man. To experience my relationship with the franchise, I love both the original Alien and Aliens. Now the rest, like Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection and Prometheus and Alien Covenant, that's where it gets a little bit tricky for me because a lot of those movies have really intriguing ideas that I like in concept. Like on paper, I'm like, you know what? This is kind of cool, like especially with Alien 3 and even a little bit of Resurrection. I'm like, I get what you're trying to do, but it's just not coming together very well. <laughs> and the same I could say for Prometheus and Alien Covenant. There's a lot of things in both those movies that I'm like, this is really cool and actually interesting. It's just that the whole picture ain't all that great. <laughs> I'm surprised you're even still here. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Go watch this shit right now. This is worth watching in a big screen, okay? And I know a lot of you are gonna say, well, I can just probably wait to watch it on a streaming service on my TV. And yeah, sure, it'll look all right. It'll look pretty good on your TV. But imagine watching this shit on a big screen? Bro, come on. On. Treat yourself from time to time. I really can't stress enough how much I love every aspect of this film, especially the performances. This movie has amazing performances all across the board, and the fact that I care about all these characters in many different ways, all the characters are genuinely so fucking good. Especially Rain and Andy, who are the main characters of the film, and really the heart of the movie as a whole. Rain encapsulates the perfect archetype that Ripley was, where she plays an awesome badass, but is also absolutely scared shitless because of the fucking space nightmare that she's in. And Andy, the android, is amazing. In my opinion, he might be the fucking highlight of the movie because his performance is absolutely astonishing from beginning to end. Like, the way this fucking guy, like, I don't know the name of the actor, I need to look this shit up. David Johnson, who plays Andy the android, he does such a great job in giving so much emotion to this really robotic ass character. It's just fucking mind-blowing. But man, let's talk about the special effects and the set design. Oh my fucking god. This is fucking alien. In terms of the set design, the atmosphere, this is alien. In every shape and form, everything about it invokes what those first two movies try to invoke with its environmental storytelling. And what was most surprising is that this movie actually uses a lot of practical effects, especially in the creature department. The xenomorphs and the fucking facehuggers, they all look 
amazing. And even when they're turned into CGI, they still look genuinely really fucking good. The amazing sound design combined with the beautiful and ominous score is just mm, fucking just chef's kiss perfection. 10 out of 10. Fucking love it. <laughs> now, I'll be honest, there were two instances where the film almost lost me. There's a familiar face that shows up in this movie. So I was like, Ugh, I don't know, this is looking very unsettling. I don't know how to feel about it. It's kind of awkward and uncanny. And then in the last 15 minutes ish of the movie, they pull an alien resurrection that at first I was like, mm, I don't know, are we really doing this right now? But then they reveal what it is and then they really showcase how this works and how it looks in general. And I was like, okay, I'm completely behind this. This is fucking awesome. <laughs> Could you maybe pinpoint a few nitpicks here and there? Definitely. This movie is not perfect by any means, okay? But it is such a fun fucking ride with good characters, good special effects, good music. Ugh, it's just an amazing experience that by the end I was like, yes! Cinema's back, baby! <laughs> I had to rate the movie from 1 to 10. God shit. <sighs> Yeah, I'm really battling between a 9 and a 10. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna give the movie a 9 out of 10. And the only reason why I'm doing that is because I want the film to marinate for a little bit. I want it to settle in for a little bit. I definitely want to watch it again soon. Just so I can get in all on the flavors of this film. But right now... I am on a confident 9 out of 10, and honestly, in the near future, this could go up to a 10 out of 10 if you ask me. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching. What did you think of Alien Romulus? Did you love the film? Did you hate it? Or are you just kind of in the middle? Let me know down in the comments. I definitely want to know what you guys think about this one. And like always, good night and stay safe.